Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com, and in this video, I'm gonna share why it's impossible to create web traffic, and I'm gonna reframe the idea of web traffic for you so you have an aha moment. I'm gonna use the whiteboard and draw this out so it becomes abundantly clear of what traffic is and what your job is if your goal is to ultimately drive traffic to your website. A lot of people think that I gotta go create traffic, and that's kind of a, it, it's just the wrong way to think about web traffic. The best way to think about it, the best analogy I have is that you want to get out in front of web traffic. Just like a sailboat, a sailboat wants to set its sails in a wind, right? A sailboat does not create the wind that powers the sailboat. The sailboat simply sets its sails in the wind and that is what powers and propels a sailboat. So that might have been a little bit of an abstract example and I'm excited to jump on and give you a little bit broader picture to make this really clear. So what you're doing first and foremost is you've created or you're creating a website. This could be a Shopify site that sells individual items or it could be a WordPress site that you have a funnel on it. No matter what you're building your website with, it should have a funnel component or it should be a funnel itself. So I'm gonna draw that on the board here first. So that's your website, right? This is a, a visual representation of your website. And I drew it in the shape of a funnel because your web website should be built in a way that it's able to kind of have a broad opening at top. It catches all of the potential traffic that it can, and then it filters it down, generating ultimately leads and or sales for you. So this is an optimized website. That's what you start with. Then let's get into this traffic idea a little bit because I want to paint this picture for you. So on the internet, generally speaking, there's a handful of websites and apps that control at least 80 to 90% of the traffic. Now, I don't have that exact statistic about how many, how much, what percentage of the world's web traffic happens from the biggest websites, but I'm going to jot a few of them here on the board to kind of give you a picture and I'm going to orient this to make Make sense of how you can get these individuals over to you. So we've got some main websites that you're very familiar with, I'm very familiar with, and odds are you already have an account with them. Facebook. So I've added just a few on here. And obviously there's a lot more than this, right? But even just in this little sampling, Facebook has 2 billion monthly active users. Google does something like 3 billion plus unique searches per day. That's over 3 billion unique search engine results page displaying 10 plus websites each. That's an opportunity. YouTube has something to the tune of a billion monthly active users. Pinterest has got 150 million, maybe 200 million active users. I really honestly don't know the numbers of Twitter and Quora, and obviously there's more, right? There's Snapchat, there's Tumblr, there's sites I don't even know of that are niche specific, and there's forums and a lot of other places. My goal, uh, what I'm trying to illustrate here is that there are websites and apps and platforms that already have traffic, right? You're not creating the traffic, it's already out here. The goal for us, and it's almost like thinking about your website as an island. You're, you're a deserted island, you're out there on your own, you've built it, you're just kind of off in cyberspace. And the goal for you is to connect your website, which is your funnel, right? Your conversion mechanism with these platforms and websites that already have the users. So you have to build bridges. And what are these bridges? Well, they're content one way or another. And there's two ways you can structure your content in order to build these bridges. Facebook's a great example of the paid version where you can run paid advertisement. You can pay Facebook to get your content, your advertisement in front of their, a portion of their 2 billion monthly active users. They are happy to display it for you. They've got some rules and you gotta have some fairly good direct response copy on both your ad and on your funnel in order to make that a cash flow positive move for you, but that's very much a possibility. 
The other option is through effort, right? And that's what I'm doing with this exact video that you're watching here now. This is a piece of content I'm taking time out of my day to create. At the very beginning, I mentioned my website, milesbeckler.com, which I'd enjoy if you went and visited. I can even pop up my opt-in offer where I'll give you my free report that'll, it's actually a free course and it shows you how I went from side hustle to million dollar business online. That's just in exchange for your email address. I'll make sure the opt-in link for that pops up above and I'll put it in the description for you here. But what I'm trying to illustrate is I'm here on YouTube right now creating content. This doesn't really cost me anything. I'm taking my time, my energy, and my knowledge to share with you and paint this picture of how web traffic works to help reframe this or frame this in a way that serves you so you can move forward in your marketing. The act of which I'm doing, that which I'm explaining is that, right? So it's a little bit meta. On Twitter, we use tweets. And of course, you can do paid tweets if you've got a great funnel and you convert, but you can just post great engaging content on Twitter. You can build an audience of people because Twitter has a big user base already. And when you put out a call to action, some of those Twitter users will follow it. They can find your blog posts, your opt-in, your sales page, et cetera, et cetera. Quora, it's an answer and question platform. People go to Quora and they ask questions. Most of my videos answer lots of those kinds of questions. So what I do sometimes after creating my videos is I will actually go to Quora and I will use my videos as answers to people's questions. So someone might say, hey, how do I create an affiliate marketing funnel? And I'll go on Quora and say, you know, it's a little bit too lengthy to explain that here in this one video or in this one Quora answer, but I made a video that explains it. Check the video out here. Then I link from Quora to the video and that video ultimately links them back to my website. Sometimes I link blog content on Quora and then all of my YouTube videos are being turned into blog posts. And these blog posts are available to be indexed by the Google search engine. My blog posts are designed to answer people's questions because of those 3 billion plus searches every day that Google already receives, most of those are people searching for answers to their questions. If I create what Google perceives as the most valuable answer to a specific question, Google will show my website and specifically my post that answers that question the user is searching in the search results page. If I get that number one spot, I'm going to receive about 40 to 50% of traffic from that search phrase. So as I create more and more and more blog posts, I'm getting more and more and more opportunities to show up on Google as a search engine result when someone searches Google for a question relevant to my topics, right? So this is another way. Google needs blog posts posts and pages to display to Google's users that make the 3.2 million searches per month. Well, if I create the best content on that specific topic, I have the potential. And if I do basic SEO, which I've covered in many videos in the past, I have the potential of showing up from Google. I become a partner to Google. Google displays my website's URLs and my blog posts to users asking on Google. They click. I get traffic, they learn more about my stuff, they enter my funnel, my list grows, my business grows. Pinterest is a visual search engine. So for Pinterest, the kind of content we create is visual content. It's shaped uniquely for Pinterest. It's a unique thing in and of itself. And I've taught very, very elaborately in depth our exact methodology for driving traffic from Pinterest. My wife and I get about 60,000 visits per month from Pinterest. And that's because we're creating content native to the Pinterest search engine because Pinterest is a visual search engine for images. There's hundreds of millions of people who use Pinterest and they find our stuff, they repin our stuff, they tag our stuff, they add it to their boards. And sometimes they click through, visit our website and potentially enter our funnel. You know, one I left off of here that I'm thinking about is Instagram, right? Like 
Instagram's a huge website. Instagram has over a billion users, if my memory serves me correctly. Don't quote on that. It could be 800 million. It's an absolutely insane amount of users. And they're all just on the Instagram app looking at stuff. So if I create or when I create good, valuable content native to the Instagram platform, I participate in that platform, I engage with people, all of this I've taught on my Instagram marketing video, then I'm able to build an audience on Instagram, my bio link, and sometimes the descriptions on my images can send people directly to my website. And sometimes I'm actually promoting my YouTube videos with my Instagram. Sometimes the Pinterest pins are actually YouTube videos. Sometimes the Quora is actually gonna go to my blog post. So I create this, essentially this web of links of my own content Ultimately, everything does link back to my website, which ultimately links people to my funnel itself. But this is how I'm building bridges between my content and my funnel and these platforms and websites and apps that have all of the users. Now, I started this video by saying you never create traffic, right? It's not something that we go create. And my goal with this video has been to paint a picture of how you can participate in each one of the platforms that currently has the attention of your target market. Then you create native content for that platform. You become a positive content creator. You can become a partner right now. I'm partnering with YouTube. I get to put out this content. YouTube likes that I'm contributing valuable content to the ecosystem. YouTube shows my content in the search results, in the browse feature, in the suggested. It shows it to people who have already subscribed to me. If you haven't subscribed yet, might as well subscribe at this point. Click the little bell and you'll get notified when my new videos come up. And ultimately, some of these videos are direct links to my funnel. Other ones of these videos are just goodwill I'm putting out on the YouTube ecosystem to grow my reach on YouTube. So independently on each of these platforms, I'm operating natively to those platforms. I use image sizes or video sizes that are perfectly fit for the platform. For example, Facebook has kind of a normal camera, normal image, like a four to three aspect ratio, which is wider than it is tall. Pinterest has a very tall and slender image. It's 700 pixels wide by 1100 pixels tall. I create a Pinterest pin for the exact same thing that's on my blog post, for the exact same thing I've got a video on, for the exact same thing I create an Instagram post for, and each one of those pieces of content is specifically designed native for the platform. Instagram square, videos are a different format. Facebook has a wider image. Pinterest has a tall, skinny image. All of that goes onto one big comprehensive website that's a multimedia blog post on my blog. That gets indexed by Google. Each one of those pieces has the potential to connect with new visitors, new users who have never heard of me before. Then they find it on that platform. They might very well go check out some of my other content. They might go from Quora to YouTube. They might go from Quora to my blog. They might go from YouTube to my blog. They might just search for my name in Facebook or Instagram and connect there. Either way, I'm making myself, my ideas, my content available to users on the platforms where my audience already is. And from there, I help these individuals obtain more content from me, better content, higher quality content in the form of my free course that I give away that I expressed earlier. And that is how I bring them into my ecosystem and ultimately onto my email list. I hope this has been valuable. I hope this makes sense. I kind of wanted to really map this out in an easy, easy to understand way because if you think about traffic as something you have to go build and create and make out of nothing, that idea is going to not only sound very difficult, it's going to lead you into the wrong form of thinking, into false thinking. When you realize that traffic is already out there on these major platforms and apps and websites, and all we need to do is go participate effectively, becoming a content partner with these platforms, and then having well-timed and well-located calls to action action to get more content, which might be on a different platform, which might be on your site, which could be your opt-in. It could be your sales page that varies based on the niche. It varies based on the content that you're putting out. When you approach the idea of traffic from this angle, life becomes easy. 
This is why I'm such a proponent of the 90 day challenge. Whether you do 90 videos in 90 days or 90 blog posts in 90 days, you're able to really kind of build bridges rapidly from these platforms back to your content, but you're also able, you've got ammunition to build bridges from these other ones, right? So if you're doing a 90 day video challenge, you can tweet about all of your videos. You can post on Facebook about your videos. You can do Instagram posts about your videos. You can do Quora posts about your videos. You can make Pinterest pins about your videos and then your videos can link back to your website. This is different for every business. It's different for every niche. One of the most important things to keep in mind is does the specific platform you're working with have your audience? Pinterest is a great example of this. Um, highly female demographic and a little bit of an older demographic. Snapchat is a very young demographic and a very male demographic. Instagram is a younger female demographic. Facebook is an older male and female demographic. YouTube for me is a younger male demographic and I'm pretty sure the whole world uses Google, right? And I found um, a number from the United Nations, I believe about 3.2 billion people on earth, which is getting close to half of earth's population is online. So this is where people are. They're searching for answers to their problems. They're searching for solutions to their problems. And when the content you create is the best or most valuable solution for their problem, they're going to click. And if they're searching YouTube because they're a native YouTube user, if you've got a great video on a topic and YouTube gets it and they show your result, you'll get the traffic from there and you can ultimately get them back to your website. If you like to write, if you're a writer and they search Google, like the 3.2 billion searches per day that are doing, that are done on Google, then your blog posts could show up on Google. If they're a Pinterest user searching for something that you offer, like you're in the greenhouse niche and they're searching for DIY greenhouses and you've got a whole greenhouse board full of different DIY greenhouse designs. They're searching on Pinterest. They find your stuff there. That could be the bridge to get that individual back to your website where you can offer a free DIY kind of greenhouse plan type opt-in or upgrade from your funnel. Again, I hope this has been valuable. I hope you've enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up here on YouTube if you like this. If you have any questions about what we discussed here, uh, feel free to hit me in the comments below. I'm happy to answer your questions when I have time as best I can to the best of my ability. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell so you get notified when the newest videos come up. And if you feel like you know somebody who needs to hear this message or who would get a lot of value from understanding this approach to traffic and how it all works into your website, grab the URL from up above share it out in the groups or to the people or send it off. However you do, do what you do. However you like to engage with things, I do appreciate the engagement. I thank you for your time and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Until then, be well and remember that you being helpful to individuals on these platform, that ultimately is the trick to eventually driving traffic to your website, into your funnel, to grow your list and to grow your business online. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next video.